Mikel Arteta admits that Arsenal will need to improve a lot if they want to advance in the Europa League after their 2-2 draw with Sporting Lisbon. Watch the video until the end to find out the details. But first, if you're also a passionate Arsenal fan, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, and leave a like to receive all the latest updates about your beloved team firsthand. And without further ado, let's get started. The Gunners coach made six changes to his starting team for the Europa League round of 16, with Polish defender Jakub Kiwia making his debut and Gabriel Martinelli playing in midfield in the absence of Edin Ketia, Leandro Trossard, and Gabriel Jesus. These changes seem to have paid off when William Saliba put Arsenal in the lead, but the Premier League leaders were defeated before half-time and drew 2-2 in Portugal to bring it back to the Emirates. Arsenal coach Mikel Arteta admitted that the team needs to improve their defence if they want to keep winning games. He acknowledged that conceding two poor goals like they did against Sporting makes it difficult to achieve a positive result. Arteta also criticised the team's defending in the box and substitute goalkeeper Matt Turner who was criticised for not coming for crosses and commanding his area. Despite Arteta making changes to the team, Arsenal fortuitously equalised when Granit Xhaka's attempted pass took a huge deflection and found the back of the net. The coach acknowledged that the second goal was lucky, but praised the team's resilience in staying in the game and being alive in the tie. Arteta warned his players to be prepared to accumulate minutes in the last few months of the season, as at Arsenal they need to play every three days and be fit and available for it. Arsenal face Fulham this weekend before the second leg against the Portuguese next week, where Arteta knows his team will need to play better to progress to the next round. Now, I want to know your opinion. Do you agree with Arteta? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'll be back soon with more Arsenal news. See you soon.